And it's not time for another basic beer review. Oh no, it's time for a basic announcement at the moment. And that is the, um, well, it's the ultimate supermarket lager championship. Now this is a quest to find the best supermarket lager that you can buy. Um, now there were just a couple of rules for this one. Um, first rule was the beers have to be available all year round, so no Oktoberfest beers are in it. Um, also, I'm not including any craft lagers because craft lagers, depending on what you can get, they're not they're not available all the time. They come and go. Um, also, there's if I included them, I would have way too many lagers to review on here, even too many for me. Um, also, there are completely different styles. I thought I'd just completely get rid of craft lagers altogether. They tend to be, you know, completely different style. Um, we just get rid of craft lagers completely. We'll stick to the ones that are, you know, not. Well, you know what I mean by craft. I mean, you know, I know some of these things may be considered relatively craft, but um, none of the in the cans sold in the craft section of the supermarket lagers, should we say. Um, and uh, yeah, but still without that, without the Oktoberfest beers, um, we've still got 29 beers, I think it is now. 29 beers in the uh, tournament. So without further ado, let's get looking at the table. So I've split the table into quarters here. This is the first quarter of the table. Um, and in the first quarter of the table, we've got these beers. So we've got Spartan, we've got the Sam Smith's Lager which is recently going. Most of these are from Booze, I won't lie, uh, because Booze just has a, a massive selection of different lagers that are all above the kind of price point that you would pay in most of the other supermarkets. Um, they're more exclusive. They're, we reckon they're going to be better quality. We will have a see. Um, I, I, there's a couple that aren't from Booze, but to be honest, I looked at other supermarkets and there's not really much out there. Even Waitrose doesn't have a lot in the line of um, what I would call super premium um, lagers or proper premium lagers. Anyway, the Singha is in there because I um, had three spaces in the draw already for the top three beers in the, in the previous taste test. Give them a chance. Never, you never know. They may end up going really far against some of these big boys. So let's have a see. That's um, We also got the Schneider Hellas, which is, uh, which is spelt wrong there. I'll have to correct that before, um, before I use this again. Um, we got the Ilkley Slake Lager, um, which is um, a UK brewed lager by Ilkley Brewery. Um, in Yorkshire, I think. Um, and that's up against the Augustina Edelstoff. Now, the Augustina Edelstoff was one I wasn't going to include because um, it's 5.6%. It's and I originally had another thing saying it was going to be less than 55 but at the end of the day, it's um, it's not an Oktoberfest beer. It's not. It is available all year round. Um, it's a little bit outside the um, alcohol um, range that I was going to originally do. But it's a really nice beer, and it deserves a shot in the championship. So will it romp it? <coughs> Probably not. Um, but we'll see. So it's in there. It's they did have a buy originally there, but no, it's the Augustina Edelstoff is there. Uh, we've got the Saltair Hellas, and we've got the Lowenbrau in that first quarter. Uh, that's Lowenbrau Hellas. I don't know if that's different from the Lowenbrau that I used to drink when I used to like it. But anyway, we'll see what it's like. It doesn't matter. It's what's available at booths. Um, and in the uh, second quarter of the table, we've got the Rugate Pilsner, another UK brewed one. Paulina, coming along from the other championship there. We've got Veltins, the Westmoreland Lake La Lakes Lager. We've got an ABK Hellas, and that's got a buy into the next round because I drew these completely at random. The buys were put in at random as well. So these just happen to get buys. Staropraman. <coughs> so Staropraman, um, in, the, in this second half. Now, you probably think, well, Staropraman, that was in the... Um, that was in the other taste test, and it didn't get very far, if I remember. Well, yeah, um, it got to the quarters, I think. Uh, but this isn't that. This is the Czech brewed Staropram, and that you can get in Lidl, not the UK brewed Staropram, you can get everywhere else. So let's give the Czech brewed Staropram a shot um, and see how it does. And uh, that's non booze beer, that's Lidl. And the one it's up against is the Hofbrau Original, which is also available in Morrison's. So there we go, we've got Morrison's represented there. It's not all booze, of course it's not. So let's have a look at the... Um, second half of the table now. So um, I was trying to get one from Marks and Spencers. I know there's some interesting beers there, but in our local Marks and Spencers, there's not a lot. So the one that I could get from Marks and Spencers was the MS Czech Pilsner. So we'll give that a go. We'll see what it's like. I know MS own brand stuff tends to not be brewed by them. Obviously, it's brewed by another brewery. Um, I didn't know what brewery it was, but I say it's unless it's you know brewed by Budvar or Staropraman or something, it'll be different than the ones we tried in the other one. So let's get that in there. Jupiler. Belgian. Uh, we've got Bangla. We've got Yeva. Um, we've got Ainga Hell, which has got a bite to the next round as well. Uh, we've got Benedictina Hell, which is a new one that they got in there. And the Kona Longboard, 
which I'm not sure where that's from actually, but uh, but that, that was an interesting looking one. Thought I should that in there, so it's not all just German beers. Um, the Kronbacher Pils is back. Uh, we got the Te Tegense Hell, but I'm not sure if I saw it last time I was in there, so I don't know whether that might end up being a buy. We'll have a see. Bowman Pilsner got a buy. Saltair Pilsner, Augustina, that's the Augustine, Augustina Hellas, um, the Fru Kolsch, and Westwood Pilsner. Um, and just a little note about these beers. I mentioned the Tegan's uh, Hell, I saw that. Um, I don't remember. I went into booths today and don't remember seeing it. If any of these beers disappear, I will give them a little bit of time to reappear. Um, but if they don't reappear, then they'll have to just be struck out of the competition and then we'll just replace them with whatever they beat in the previous round, okay? Um, some of these beers, I don't know how long they are there for. They Generally, most of these, they've been a little for, for ages. Um, anything that's new, maybe a little, uh, not a little, in, uh, sorry, booths for a while. That Tegan's uh, Hell, I'm sure it's one I've seen a few times, um, but I'm sure I didn't see it today, but we'll see. You never know, it might have been there somewhere. If that doesn't rematerialize, Materialise, then that will have to become a buy, and uh, the Cronbacker will get an easy round into the next round, or an easy route into the next round. It's just the way it goes. And I say that goes for any other beers that, um, if I can't find them, I can't, if I can't find them, I'll give them a week, and if I still can't find them, then they're gone, um, unfortunately. Um, but most of these beers, they're going to be there. They're going to be there through the entirety. Now, because it's such a long championship, it's going to take a long time. Um, I, the aim was to get it finished for Christmas, but you know what? Unless I'm drinking like every other day, um, which I don't want to be doing taste test every other day, it's going to be hard to get it done by then. But who knows? Um, it's going to be a lot of rounds. It's going to be a lot of round, It's going to be a lot of competitions. It's going to be a lot of beers to drink. I am really looking forward to it. The first one will be coming very soon, um, and uh, there's nothing much more I can say apart from can't wait to do it. Stay tuned. It's going to happen. It's going to be big. It's going to be great. Have a good one.